Hello friends. Today our topic is transverse markings on carriageway. Transverse marking on roads are printed across the direction of traffic flow and they are used for traffic control and guidance often at intersections and crossing. Maybe solid or broken lines, maybe a single line or double continuous line. These lines are generally white in color but maybe yellow also in some cases. Transverse markings are always accompanied with corresponding sign. So if you are marking a stop line here, then a stop sign should be installed before the stop line. There are four types of transverse markings. One is stop line, giveaway line, pedestrian crossing and bar marking. Stop line marking indicates the location on the ground beyond which the vehicle should not proceed. That's a mandatory sign, mandatory marking where the driver should stop before crossing the intersection. It can be the vicinity of a traffic signal or a pedestrian zebra crossing or it can be a minor road approach merging with major road. A stop line should be either parallel to the intersecting roadway or at right angle to the direction of approaching vehicle. A stop line marking on side road shall be supplemented with a stop sign and a stop line may be either a single line or double stop line. Single stop line shall be applied in traffic signals and ahead of pedestrian crossing. It is a solid white transverse line 200 mm wide on urban roads and 300 mm wide on rural roads. A single stop line should generally be located not less than 2 meter and not more than 3 meter in advance from the desired location and shall be parallel to the nearest boundary of pedestrian crossing marking. Where there is no pedestrian crossing, the single stop line shall be placed not less than 1.25 meter and not more than 9 meter from the nearest carriageway edge of the intersecting road and shall be extended across all approach lanes, usually to the center line or in the case of one way street to the right curb or pavement edge. At traffic signals, the line shall be normally located 1 meter before the nearest primary signal. The double stop line is usually exclusively at junctions controlled by stop signs and in no circumstances should be used merely to give warning for approaching traffic to the major road. A double stop line is a hard message to the driver that before entering into the intersection, it should stop. Double stop line is typically accompanied by a stop road marking with the top of the word placed 2 to 3 meter from the nearest part of the double stop line. Two continuous lines, each 200 millimeter wide, spaced 300 millimeter apart and supplemented by a stop sign here on the carriageway. That is how we write a word message here stop which is encrypted on the carriageway and that is the stop sign. Second is giveaway line. Giveaway line marking is two broken lines laid side by side and each comprising 600 millimeter line segment and 300 millimeter gap. The lines are 200 millimeter wide and are spaced 300 millimeter apart. The marking is laid across the minor roads at intersections which are not controlled by stop sign, traffic signal or traffic police. Now these broken lines here are the indicator or the reminder to the driver to give way to the traffic from right at roundabout. Generally two lines are marked on the pavement indicating that every vehicle approaching the intersection must slow down and give way, give right of way to the vehicle coming from right side. The giveaway line generally supplemented by triangular giveaway sign here and also a hollow triangular giveaway approach marking on the pavement. 
the marking should normally be located with its base around 2.5 meter to 12 meter from the transverse marking a giveaway sign also known as yield sign means that driver must be prepared to stop and allow other traffic to proceed first if necessary the sign indicates that you do not have the right of way and must yield to vehicles on the intersecting road essentially you must be prepared to stop to avoid a collision then the third is pedestrian crossing pedestrian crossings are provided at important intersections and is essential where conflict exists between vehicles and pedestrians at intersections the pedestrian crossing should invariably be preceded by a stop line at unsignalized pedestrian crossing the stop line shall be set back 2 meter to 3 meter from the start of zebra crossing marking and at signal control intersections zebra crossing is generally 1 meter ahead of primary signal and will be preceded by a stop line the width of pedestrian crossing depends upon the pedestrian volume crossing and local requirement but in no case it should be less than the width of the footpath and subjected to minimum of 2 meter the width of pedestrian crossing should be a minimum 2 meter the width of the crossing generally lies 2 to 4 meter the markings are 500 mm wide and with a spacing of 500 mm between two marks then next is bar marking transverse bars are used to reduce speeds especially on approaches to intersections like roundabout due to the visual and sensory feedback they provide to the drivers these are typically placed in full width of the carriageway excluding paved shoulders and terminating a certain distance from the edge or they can be painted lines raised strips or a combination of both generally they are either white or yellow in color these are provided in sets and one set of bar marking comprises of six bars of 300 mm wide and and spacing between these bars is also 300 mm each strip is generally 5 mm high each strip of 300 mm shall be set apart by 600 mm number of sets to be provided will depend upon the approach speed and when you are providing more than one set of these transverse bar marking then these distances d1 d2 d3 d4 they depend upon how many sets are being provided irc 35 suggest that for approach speed up to 50 km per hour one set of bar marking is sufficient and this must be provided at a distance of 50 m from the hazardous location if a speed is 65 or less then two sets and d1 and d2 that is the first distance and second distance from the hazardous location is 50 meter and 80 meter if a speed is more than 65 but less than 80 then you provide three sets at distance of 50 80 and 120 and if it is more than 81 and less than 100 km per hour then four sets of bar marking are provided the first one is as usual at 50 second at 80 third one is at 120 meter and fourth one is 180 meter all distances are measured from the hazardous location where you want the speed to be reduced and there are several applications of these transverse bar marking approach to intersection these markings are often used to signal drivers that they are approaching a decision point where they need to be aware of other vehicles and pedestrians near accident prone approaches transverse bar markings are used at these locations to warn drivers and encourage them to slow down near pedestrian crossing and cyclist crossing these markings guide pedestrians and cyclists across the road ensuring their safety and also near speed change lanes they can be used to indicate the drivers where a speed change speed change lane is located so friends thank you very much for watching this video if you have any questions you can write in the comment box